But hey guys, this is the quick tip of the day. I'm going to try to start doing these quick tip of the day videos, hopefully every day, uh, but probably end up being once or twice a week. <laughs> but anyhow, lately I've been getting a lot of questions about how to export using Final Cut X, uh, either Final Cut X, Final Cut 10. Uh, they're both the same thing. Um, it's actually Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut Pro 10, but it's both the same thing. But I'm going to show you a couple different ways. One, if you're just exporting to YouTube, you know, what is the, the easiest, fastest, and definitely it's clear enough for YouTube and um, and YouTube's going to compress it anyhow so you really don't need to do anything more than that um, it'll also go up a lot faster if you're trying to if you edit something here and say you want to go into another program like After Effects and then do some effects there in After Effects and then bring it back in here then you're going to want to go with a much bigger file you know you can do like Apple ProRes 422 or Apple ProRes 422 uh, HQ but, all right, so let's get started. So this is just a quick uh, intro tag of our FOJC TV channel, which is my band's channel. Um, this is the out outro asking people to, to subscribe and that kind of stuff, and then it has the subscribe at the end. Um, so we're going to do this. We're going to come over here. Now, there's a couple different ways. Uh, the easiest way is to come over to your right side. You're going to see a little box here with an arrow, and uh, just click on that and then you'll see uh, DVD, master file, uh, Apple um, device uh, 720 or Apple device 1080p, Facebook, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these are just presets I've, I've made up. Um, you probably won't have these here yet unless you actually start saving them there. Um, and the, the ones you want, now if you're just doing something quick, like when I export this, this video, I'm just going to export it uh, right to a... Apple device, and I'm going to export it at 720, just so it's, you know, quick, easy, it'll go up to YouTube fast, you know, uh, most people watch videos on YouTube, if they're going to watch them in HD, they're going to watch them in 720 um, or 1080p, and if I click on 720, so I'll just say 720, and then I'll come here, and um, this video was a, the original video was a Chris Angel thing, so I'm going to take that off and just make it test, so test, uh, YT and right here it'll show you that this video is going to be 36 megabytes I and mean, this, this video is only a few seconds long so if I export that click share and you're going to see right here it's rendering and um, takes a second I'll actually edit this part out okay so just got done rendering it's at 95 percent went to 100 percent You'll see a little pop-up over here that says your um, share is success. You can't see it all, but that's what it says. So I click close. It's going to pop up iTunes, and your video will be over here in um, home movies right here. So if this isn't on movies, say it's on music, you just change this to movies. And if say it's on general or movies up here, you just click on home movies. And it's right there. And all you do when you're going to when you're on YouTube, you can just drag this. You can just take this and drag it to your desktop if you want. And it'll go and it'll down it'll move it to your desktop. Then after you do that, you can just take it and drag it to trash. Uh, but also if you're on YouTube and you hit the upload button, you can also just drag this right over to the upload area and it'll upload from there. Then after you're done, you know, delete it because like you know, these are all pretty much junk that I don't need anymore. And it just fills up your hard drive, so I'll just drag it over and delete it. So that's a, 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 a quick way. The videos, most of the videos you see on my channel that I do in uh, in Final Cut, that's the method I'm using. Just because the, the file size is smaller, they look fine, or whatever. If I'm doing, now if I'm going to do a, a music video or something like that, and um, I'll come over here, and I'll click on the same button, and instead of going to one of these Apple devices, I'll go to Master File. And I click on Master File. I'll keep you can rename it here. You can add a description in the creator or whatever, the time tag, whatever. But if you go to Settings, and it'll give you, um, you want to do your format, and you want audio and video. If, you just, if you're going to do something, you don't need audio for this, and say you're going to go into After Effects, you can also just change video only. Um, anyhow. And right now the codec I'm using is is um, uh, H264, which that is the 
if you're giving a video to someone, say you just did a wedding and you want to Dropbox them a video, uh, that's the easiest and, and best looking codec to use for a, that won't make a huge file, um, but it, you know, it's, it's still going to be a, a, a really nice compression and, um, and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of like most videographers, if they're doing it at a wedding or something like that, they're going to export it at, um, H246, or H264, sorry. And, um, and then whatever size resolution you've, you've set up your video for. That's going to be the, uh, the main compression that most people use. If you're going to go to, uh, like I said, if you're doing a, a video, you need a really high quality, um, say like you're going to export it to, um, and then you're going to actually take and then re-import it to After Effects and then export it out of like After Effects and then back into another video. Then you want to keep it pretty much raw. I mean, you want to keep it almost the exact format you did. And the best one to use for that is either ProRes 422 or um, I usually use, if I want to keep all the quality <clears throat> because I'm going to go back from one program to another program back to another program then I'll use Apple ProRes um, 422 HQ but you can see um, right now let me just close this this video clip right here is only 41 seconds long okay so I'm going to show you on a 41 second long how big that video is so if I go back over here and I click on to Apple ProRes 422HQ. Okay, so that just changed that to almost a gigabyte. It's uh, 947 megabytes, you know, so it's almost a, almost a gigabyte because you're using such an extreme format. So like I said, if um, you're doing weddings and that kind of stuff, or even uploading to YouTube, if you don't want to just use the Apple device, then your best format is the H.264, which that's the, the, most, the, the main format that most people use if they're using QuickTime. It's a great format. Your videos will look great and that kind of stuff. So anyhow, that's pretty much it. And then you just hit, if I wanted to export this, when I export this, it won't go into iTunes. What it'll do... Uh, the only ones that go into iTunes are the Apple devices. These will go where you where you direct them to go. So if I click on Next, now it's going to ask me where I want to go to. I'm going to put it in Movies, and I'm going to bring this up here and click Save. And now you can see it's right here is rendering again. And it's rendering. This is only 41 seconds long, so it's going to render really fast. And um, and that's it. And then you can upload it to YouTube from from there. So hopefully this helps you out. And please, you know, like and subscribe, and do all that kind of stuff to this channel. That would help me out greatly. Talk to you guys soon. So hi, this is Victor and Alicia from FOJC TV. Our new channel is devoted to bringing something for everyone. Little comedy. Squeal like a pig boy. <laughs> you wanna lick my no? Shush. I can hear you. Yeah. Music. You've been dancing your feet all over your feet. Let you hear. Little style. I'll just wanna you wanna. A little dramedy. What's dramedy? Drama and comedy together. Oh. Come over to FOJC TV. They can't see me, right? Can't see me. No, 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 okay. no. Are you the only? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, go over to FOJC TV and check it out. You know, we're not preaching to you. We're not trying to sell you anything. We're not even asking you to comment and favorite. We're not even asking you to subscribe. We're begging you.